side take from that victory against Arsenal when you considered you kept a clean sheet? There's been so many goals scored in the Premier League so far this season and also doing so without the likes of Kevin and without the likes of Emmerich. No, well, of course it was so important after uh, the early results uh, and especially against the team that we face. Uh, I was really impressed uh, how strong they are. Arsenal team, and that's why that's why it was uh, yeah for a confident and uh, since the beginning of the season the feeling of the mood of the team is really good. Uh, the 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 relation between between themselves is spectacular. So yeah, it's uh, it's the most important thing. It's uh, just one game, and and now the next. Um, next, we'll go to Dave McDonnell. Dave? Uh, hi, Pep. Um, we're starting another Champions League campaign. Um, last season, you said, uh, if I remember rightly, you, you wouldn't kill yourself if you never won it again. Now, um, I just wondered, given you know, your, your record in the competition uh, and given the bond you've got with the people at the club and, and you talk very highly of them, what would it mean to you to deliver the Champions League to this club? And and, and really, is that the, is this the one competition you're really striving for now, given you've won the title twice already? Every season start the same. So the answer, you know the answer. So for many clubs, for ourselves, it's uh, incredible being here, this, this competition. And uh, it's just the first game. The first step is win the first and after the second and, and see how far. We are still uh, far away to thinking on uh, big targets and... Considering what happened in the last season, the previous season, we are not allowed to to dream much higher in the terms of expectations. The reality is uh, is uh, the more of the game to try to win the first one because in this competition, the the win the home games are so important to don't suffer the qualification. And after we'll see how grow the team. Still, we are away a little bit away away from from where we want to be. But Alessinchenko is back and, and and many players are back in a good conditions, Gundogan as well and Bernardo and Joao. So just I'm Eric and Kevin and a little bit longer will be and Gabriel, I think it's expected to come back in next weeks. And except uh, Mendy, hopefully when they come back soon and have the squad and step by step see the team how grow. And and it depends on our performance, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Okay, Simon Stone. Pep, um, you obviously played in the knockout stages of last season's tournament, which is not that long ago. Is that still having an impact on your squad in terms of the, the pre-season and the, the lack of time? And, and if so, where do we see that? What, what was the problem? What was the problem? What? Well, in terms of the impact, the extra games, having to play those extra games is having now. Why Why no. does it still have an impact? No, it was an honour to play in extra games. Unfortunately, we could not play more, not get the semi-finals against Bayern Munich. Uh, the reality is, is what it is. So the problem was more than the impact to don't have... Uh, part of the preparation, the problem was uh, four or five guys with uh, with uh, they they was positive in the COVID test and inspect this and especially for the few injuries that we had in the beginning that it, that we were a little bit in delay for our preparation. But it's is where it is. So I said many times. So uh, all the clubs play in difficult circumstances, not just us. We had less weeks, one or two weeks. In this period are so important. In one month will be less important. In this period, in the first game, was so important. But important, the players come back fit and training with the with the mood and the in the way they are playing. This is the most important thing. Thank you. Okay, next question we comes from uh, Fred Caldera. Hello, Pep. Um... When, when you talk about, about Champions League, you, you always say that the, the group stage is getting harder and harder every season. And I wonder how the first games, and specifically the first game, can, can show you the, how, long, 
how far your team and how prepared your team is for the current season of the Champions League, not just for the group stage? Well, I think we have to play six games. Every every game is important. Every game is three points, and but I cannot deny uh, when you play the first game away, it's not so. It might, it's not it's not as much important like the first game at home. So it's vital for us tomorrow to get the three points uh, to know to know a little bit the opening. Uh, Ruben explained really well what Oporto. And they are as a team, and I try to continue with the many good things we have done. Uh, an Arsenal game, even a Leeds game, in some of moments, some moments, and be more consistent, improving the little details that uh, they will have. So this is the the main thing that uh, we have to do. Thank you. Okay, next question from Fraser Dainton. Hello, Pep. Um... Last season, um, you were seen as, as maybe one of the favourites to go and, and win this competition at the start. Um, but then, obviously, you had the, the injury to Emerick Laporte and that affected how things went for the rest of the year. Uh, this season, we've just seen, obviously, that Liverpool have just lost Virgil van Dijk and he's going to be out for what looks like the rest of this season. How difficult is it for a team when a player of that stature and, and that strength goes missing for, for a large amount? How does it affect everybody? I cannot speak about how it affects in Liverpool the squad. So Jurgen is more to talk about this. Only I wish uh, Virgil um, uh, get well soon and a good recover. Uh, I hate. Uh, I don't like at all. So have opponents injured important players in a in a long time out, uh, and I'm pretty sure he's. But, I don't know him much, but looks like so strong. So he's going to come back well today and uh, waiting, waiting him to come back to the Premier League to make our league better because the league is better for the players that are on the pitch. And he's one of the on the best. And uh, yeah, get well soon and, and all the best for him, his family and, and all Liverpool. Okay, next question is from Paul Harris. Hey Pep, you obviously worked very hard to get to the quarterfinals uh, last season. How how difficult was it for you to get that defeat out of your system? How long did it take for you to kind of forget it? Well, uh, it was a tough moment. I feel so. I felt so responsible for this. How the club fought and all the players to achieve it. I was not able to drive them. Uh, I feel so responsible. I feel right now. I feel so responsible. Watching the band, the game, so we have to accept the reality. We are not good enough, so we 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 didn't play bad. We play a really good moment. We have our chances, but at the same time, we made the mistakes. Like in this competition, you cannot do it to go through. So the reality, watching a little bit in the past, the expectations always every club, every team, every manager, every player, not just here and everywhere, has to dream with the high expectations. But the reality is uh, we perform not in the level we have to perform to get through in this competition. And that is the reality, we have to accept it. With humility, accept all the all the all the bad situations that we have, and when we accept this, is the best way to to improve, to go through, and to accept a new challenge to to this season start, like start from zero again to try it again, knowing that we have to improve. So this competition is so demanding, and the mistakes we have we commit. Um, I feel so bad for the players, and and that's why. So it's new chance, new opportunity, and we're going to start tomorrow with zero again. Okay, guys, we'll take two more questions in English and then questions from Portuguese journalists. Um, James Duncan next. Hi, Pat. Um, Hi. Do you, um, it's the 10th successive season the club have qualified for the Champions League now. Do you, do you feel then when you look at someone like Paris Saint Germain, another big club, um, they'd had difficulty getting beyond the quarterfinals before and finally reached the, the final last season? 
is there a danger that the longer the difficulties to get past the quarterfinals go on, it can be a mental become a mental barrier as much as the concentration factor for players? I had the feeling in the same time I had the feeling that we are close every season when we analyze the way we went out, I had the feeling that we are close, but in the same times, we we do uh, some actions, some mistakes that uh, that make you feel we don't deserve to go through. Um, I don't think it's a more than a mental because I think this kind of situation is about the desire and avoid some mistakes we do or some and try to avoid it, and I, I don't think so. So, of course, for our clubs that they used to, you know, always in the last stages, maybe it would be easier, but being in quarterfinals for a long time and, and 10 times in a row being there is a, a good success for us. But I know the reality of this club, so winning domestic titles, the next step is make a step forward in, in, in Champions League, and being there, you have another opportunity. So, of course, it's a... Is the past and the good things we have done in domestic things and the bad things in the Champions League is the past. So now it's a new opportunity. And I think I believe more than desire and the wish to arrive that we had was not possible because we know it. We we talk about this. So this competition, you have to do things that uh, differently that we have done uh, in, in, in the process moment. But at the same time, when you review the games, even in Liverpool, when we lost 3-0 there, or the game against Tottenham, or now with against uh, against Olympique Lyon, always had the feeling we are close. We are not not far away. So the games, they were not absolutely none of them better than us. And uh, yeah, we are for for little gaps, but these gaps we have to solve it. And uh, we were not. And when you don't solve it, it's because you don't deserve it. And uh, it's the best way to improve. Uh, and that's all. Okay, Jack, go on. Hiya, Pat. You're saying that you're getting um, getting closer and closer in the Champions League. What what has to what has to change for you to to make that next step? Is it the individual mistakes, or is there something a bit bigger? No, no. For the manager, is it to the individual mistakes? It's not about this. So I said the first thing, I feel so, I'm, I'm so responsible of this. So I don't blame no one single player for this. The players are mature enough to know exactly what they have to do to go through. No necessary to tell them. If you already be the first goal when we spoke during four days, what they do. And even that they score a goal when the second one or the third one or the chances we create in these competitions that we didn't do it, especially in the second half. So. But the game with the, you know, the goals we're going to sit against Tottenham, that we could sit, we score four goals and we are out. So, so there are these competitions. You have to be in some departments being better, but it's not because I am saying and blaming. They know it. The players know it five minutes later after play the game. So, so when it's, 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 it's this. So, but at the same time, you have a new challenge, a new opportunity. And, and we are not going to qualify any win tomorrow. It's just the first step for many. To, to get as far as possible in this competition. And, and we're going to do really well in the, in the Premier League to next season being the, here again. So this is the target. Okay, guys, we'll take questions now from Portuguese journalists. We'll hear these questions up on the stage here in English and Pep will answer in English. We're going to start with uh, Pedro Felipe Maia. 